Hello, everyone. I'm Reverend Richard Miner. I'm the Graduate Engagement Officer here at One Spirit Learning Alliance. And today it is my great pleasure to have with me Sister Monica. Sister Monica, hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Now, Sister Monica is a is a student in the Interspiritual Counseling Program, and she's in her second year. And she has a very, very interesting story. Uh, Sister Monica, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you to the Interspiritual Counseling Program? Okay. Um, well, I'm an Episcopal nun, and uh, people often make the mistake they think I'm a Roman Catholic nun. And I say, I am Catholic. I'm just English Catholic. <laughs> but anyway, I'm an Episcopal nun. I've been a member of the community of St. John Baptist in Mendham, New Jersey, for about um, five and a half years. And uh, the way I found the ISC program was that people had been coming to me asking about spiritual counseling because I'm a sister. And that's part of our ministry. We do retreat and spiritual counseling. And um, I didn't really feel qualified to do any spiritual counseling unless I had taken a course. Uh, as a sister, you can do the spiritual counseling without taking a course or getting certified, but I just didn't feel like I would be legit. So I um, looked around on the internet for the courses that my sisters had taken in the community in the 80s and 90s. Some of them had gone to Fordham, some of them had gone to General, and uh, in the intervening decades, the prices of those courses have gone up astronomically. So I went back to the community and I said, um, this is how much it costs. And they said, mm, we can't afford that. So I went back and looked a little bit more on the internet for non-graduate credit programs. And the first one that popped up was um, ISC. And I immediately felt drawn to it because it's a model that appeals to me. The interfaith model is something that I've, I lived in California for 23 years. So I was around a lot of people who are spiritual but not religious and who were into shamanism and Buddhism and all these other things. So I was really um, open to that model and I really do believe that that's the model of the future. So it felt a lot more natural to me to take a course that's not specifically uh, like the course at general is a fine course, but it's specifically a Episcopal <laughs> Christian uh, spiritual direction. And this uh, instead opens me up to something I'm more familiar with, which is an interfaith faith model. So um, that's how I found ISC was on the internet. So whoever optimizes your Google search results <laughs> did a great job. Because <laughs> here I am, and I really love it. I'm in my second year, and I've learned... I keep saying I felt like I had a little tiny tool bag, mm -hmm. little bag of tools to counsel with in the beginning, and now I have a huge warehouse full of tools <laughs> to use in counseling other people. It's fantastic. Well, that's amazing, and it sounds like you've learned a lot and you've grown a lot in this program. Can you tell me a little bit about how you're applying it in your ministry today? Well, um, it's so funny because it, it seems like it dovetails with whoever I'm meeting with I, I see between five and eight uh, counselees on a regular basis and it seems like whatever chapter I've just read <laughs> the counselee will come in and they'll need whatever I just read in that chapter <laughs> so I, it, it seems to them like I'm just pulling all these wonderful tricks out of the bag like you know why did you try this prayer practice and why don't you do this because it seems to meet the needs of the moment somehow mm -hmm. you know cosmically and um, it's really been a help in deepening my work with these people that I see in the beginning I would give them whatever Christian prayer practices that I was you know familiar with and I've been taught as a sister and now I can open them up to things that um that would appeal more to their their um deeper deeper um dimensions of prayer mm -hmm are you know less formal and more experiential and more um i would say we do i do a lot more um uh visualizations with them than i ever mm -hmm. did and it seems to take them out of that verbal intellectual place and into a much much deeper space that sounds like that must be really really wonderful and satisfying work uh, where do you see your going see yourself going with this in the future um, I would really like to continue, uh, of course, spiritual counseling as long as I live because it's so life-giving. And um, I would like to consider the idea of um, becoming a psychotherapist and including this as part of my practice someday. 
I've also felt callings uh, to be a priest, and since I'm an Episcopalian, I could be ordained as a priest. Um, if the good Lord sees fit that I do that, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a long, um, long process if you feel called. But I'm feeling tugs in those general directions. Um, and I feel like I have enough, after I finish this course, I'll certainly have enough um, experience to take me through that. Wow, that sounds like it's really, really amazing. And we're coming near the end of our time together. Do you have any final thoughts you'd like to share with the other graduates or with people that might be considering enrolling in the Interspiritual Counseling Program? Well, the the thing I love most about this program is, of course, I love the training and it's invaluable, but I also love the fact it was a surprise to me at what a wonderful community of human beings this is. I just went through a major illness and... um, I cannot possibly describe how supportive everybody has been, how uh, I felt so taken care of. I felt like these people really rushed in to to be um, a caring and a healing community for me. And they do it for everybody. That's just the way they are. (laughs) That's a wonderful thing to make spiritual friends that I hope will um, take me through the rest of my life. Wow, that sounds really wonderful. And Sister Monica, I know we are so glad to have you here at One Spirit and to have you as part of our spiritual community. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to speak to us. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you around the halls of One Spirit. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. I'll see you around. (laughs) Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.